so classy. W210 Benz. <laughs> So this is the pivot mount we're working on. And you can see that ball right there is falling apart. So that's the one we have to change. And you can see that everything was looped up here, all these joints, which is good. So we're just gonna focus on this one, removing this, the linkages right here and taking this whole thing out. Now we gotta pop this ball joint off carefully. There you go. And now this thing is all freed up. You just gotta remove those two bolts right there. Okay, so there's one bolt and then we're gonna remove the upper one. And there she is. That's what it looks like. It's all discolored, but as you can see, it started breaking right there. So I'm gonna change this ball. And it'll be smooth out. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it to either the motor mounts or the. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. You know, it could be. Uh, do you know any history whether or not they replaced the glow plugs or how long ago they replaced? I mean, they look kind of fresh, most of them, the glow plugs. You could ask. Yeah, yeah you can I ask. Think we should probably start looking at that yeah just so you know that oh okay it's been done and everything and the engine mounts i don't know i mean they they don't look too terrible but we'll have to check that out let's focus on this pivot mount first okay so here's the pivot mount looks like that the rubber is fine it's just that we need to replace this ball right here and there's a new one that i got First, remove this snap ring. And then you're gonna remove this washer. And then carefully wiggle this thing out. Like that. This is the old, this is the new one. Pretty easy, straightforward swap. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the moment. We've got a new plastic ball in place and time to assemble everything back and retest it. Do want to re-grease the throttle when you this? Yeah. Well, this is all ready to go. We can go ahead and install it back, grease up this ball joint and retest it see how this car is right just, just so like maintenance doesn't have to work. i mean i would but like you know all they right so we got this turn. all back Check together it. greased it's up easier. everything moves amazing so we're gonna start it up make sure it's actually good it's got full throttle and everything so great stuff prevented you from getting stranded <laughs> How does it feel, the gas pedal? Feels good? Feels firm? Okay. Oh yeah, nice. Perfect.
All right, he's gonna take it on a test drive, see how she feels after the replacement of the accelerator pivot mount. How's it feel? Feels good? Sweet. Uh, just kind of goes in and out. Yeah. So you're gonna need the, the belts replaced too, like these two and this one. Uh, they're still okay, but they're getting cracked up. So they'll have to be changed mm -hmm. as well. Totally recommend changing this colon tank because sometimes I've seen they crack on the bottom there. So you will like start losing coolant at some point. I just recommend changing it. You know, put a fresh new one in place. It's not difficult. Amazing. Yeah, so the door doesn't stay, that's what you're saying? Yeah, it stays for passenger and for both the uh -huh. back ones. Yeah. Kinda yeah, kind of, yeah, you, you can feel the need to be replaced. Yeah, just order these door stops right here. It's called a door stop. Door stop? Yep. Uh, this is the one that needs to be replaced right here. But to replace it, you have to remove the door panel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and since you have to remove the door panel, in the meantime, I would grease everything behind the door panel, like a window regulator and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and this mirror also moves a little, like, it's not bad. I've seen worse, but it needs to be greased up a little because it barely moves, you know, just stuff like that. Yeah. Look at that. It's oil change, 151,000 miles, 2005. That's crazy. Here has the dealership thing. Nice. 83. Yeah, all of them had these uh, pre-delivery inspection stickers. That's cool. Amazing machine. Well, there she is, all fixed up. I told the owner uh, everything else that the car needs and I'll send them the list, but it's an amazing car. Beauty. Damn, Grandpa, you're missing out. We found so many cool classic Ooh. cars. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Classic cars. Oh, wow. Look at this old school Honda Civic. And then what's really cool that I found is this Audi. 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Quattro. This thing is cool. Oh, Viper, I'm taking that too. <laughs> Say no more. Only classic cars. Nathan, my man. I just started your amazing truck. She's doing good. She's uh, an amazing car. I actually really love the color of this uh, truck. It's so nice, bro. You're that good. But yeah, I'm just gonna let her run for like five minutes and, you know, shut her off and close her up. It's a little hard to get in now yeah. No, this is awesome. I love this thing so much. You don't see them like every day. That's amazing. <laughs> Great car. Yeah, take care, sir. <laughs> well, I just got to talk to these uh, couple of guys a little bit. It's an older gentle gentleman and uh, an older lady right there in the Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, they're really cool. That Beetle is so preserved. So is this one on the right side. So sweet, such an amazing machine. Wow. And this one is a really cute car. Super awesome. Wow. 
This one's uh, 1971. That Volkswagen Beetle was uh, 1972. So cute.